Hello everyone, it's Janet here with another project for the Wild Bunch and Wild Orchid Crafts. This time I am doing a flower for the April challenge. The challenge this month was to create a flower using flat petals. And I love all of the Wild Orchid Crafts um, dimensional flowers so much that I don't really have too many of the flat petals. So I decided to work with what I had. So I have this pack of the Mixed Color Summer Blooms. BM00030 so I used these and the little those were one inch and then these are the one and a half inch of the same thing BM00020 so what I used was four of the one and a half inch ones of this and three of the smaller ones and these are the flowers that I made this is one in aqua so it's very, very dimensional. Very easy to make, very little supplies needed. There's the yellow one. And then here's a green one. So I will take you very quickly through how I made those flowers. And um, so I started with one of the big petals. And I used my plastic mat. Now if you don't have a good um, heat resistant mat, you could put a little circle down and use your glue onto the circle. But I glue right directly onto my mat. So I just make a little circle of glue right there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the flower petal and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to fold it so that they don't meet up so they go every other petal. And then I'm going to fold it again. And then I'm going to press that right down into some of the glue. And then I'm going to take the next one and do the exact same thing. And just fold it over again. So this is going to take four, so I'm going to just do four quarters right in here. And kind of squeeze them together as you go, and I still need room for my other two there. So then I'm going to do the same with this one, kind of take it over and then fold it in half, scrunch it together, and then that's going to be that, you can see that okay, that's going to be that one, and then there's room for one more over here, and then I'm just going to do the same thing, but I want them kind of off centered from each other, and then fold it in half, and just stick it right in there, and then I kind of Pull it together so that it's nice and round until the group glue dries just a little bit. So you can see it's already starting to make it real dimensional. And then I'll just add a little bit more glue to the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these smaller ones. I'm going to kind of go off center and fold them in half, kind of scrunch them together stick it right in the center there and leave room for two more. Same with this one. Do it like that, fold it together, stick it right in here beside the other one. And then this one here, fold it in half and stick this one right in here. And I'll just kind of stick those in and make sure that they all are in and get the glue gets dried good. Kind of play with it a little, but really comes out to be a, almost looks like a little carnation is what it looks like to me. So very easy to make. And then with these nice mats, it just comes right off. And then your glue is on the back. You can put a little circle on that if you'd like or, or if it's going to go directly on a project you can just glue it directly on a project. So that is my little flower for the challenge. It ended up being a very dimensional flower and didn't take hardly any supplies at all. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I appreciate your comments very much. Talk to you later. Bye.